His ethos was not about himself, but using the time that he had to the benefit of everyone around him. My name is Richard Savage, and today we're filming a video which provides the backstory for a song that I wrote in, in memory of my father, William Howard Savage, and his time in North Africa in World War II. He was probably one of the most generous people that I've ever known. And I think in a way, the realization as, as many would have had through that time that every moment that you have of life is precious. My father was 21 years old when he started his training in South Africa prior to the forces being shipped to Egypt. So he was very young as many of the soldiers were when confronted by this prospect of war. In the battles at El Alamein in itself, 735 South Africans died. I've read that Australian and New Zealand infantry lost in the region of 5,000 people in, in what was the successful victory at, at El Alamein. And, you know, it's the price that's paid in all of these, these confrontations that's uh, catastrophic. I, I reflect on the fact that, you know, these were individuals that came from families who would all have, have suffered that pain. Anzac Day is commemorated each year on the 25th of April. In commemoration of the campaign in Gallipoli and the invasion that commenced on the 25th of April 1915 in World War I, dawn services are held across Australia and New Zealand each year. I attend a dawn service every year and use that time particularly to reflect on my father's service in, in the Allied forces in World War II. The day commemorates the sacrifice that Australian and New Zealanders have made in all conflicts since then. Um, but for me particularly, uh, it's a point to reflect on the sacrifices that my father made for, for us, uh, along with all the others that he served with. In 2021, I returned from the dawn service and was strangely filled with the presence of, of my father. And I, I play guitar. I do quite a bit of writing of, of music with it. And I just sat down, had a cup of tea and started playing and composed the music that is the foundation of the song. It's a strange process composing and I'm sure most composers would tell the same thing but it's a process of creation that just happens and all that I feel that I'm doing is just guiding the process. So I've had this music since then and then a year or so later uh, just felt that the time was right to write words to the music. The song El Alamein is about the preparation for battle from the time that people left the shores of their homes and made their way to the battlegrounds. And in this case, this was North Africa, where the Allied forces in World War II were confronting a German advance on, on Egypt. So the song tells about them leaving the shores, preparing for war, being in the battle, and then in a way is a, is a reflection of mine on the battle and the outcomes.